The FBI and U.S. intelligence agencies have confirmed Iran was responsible for recent attempted hacks into the Trump and Biden-Harris presidential campaigns, the agencies said in a joint statement. We have observed increasingly aggressive Iranian activity during this election cycle, said a statement by the FBI, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which oversees the defense of government computer systems. This includes the recently reported activities to compromise former President Trump's campaign, which the attributes to Iran, they said. The hacking and similar activities, federal officials said, reflect Iran's determination to complicate the ability of any U.S. administration to pursue a foreign policy at odds with its own interests. The goal is to sow discord, weaken faith in democratic institutions and influence the outcome of elections that Iran perceives to be particularly consequential in terms of the impact they could have on its national security interests, officials said. Iran, the U.S. statement said, had also targeted the campaign of Harris, who will formally accept the Democratic Party's presidential nomination at this week's convention. Iran's mission to the United Nations issued a statement calling the allegations unsubstantiated and devoid of any standing and challenged Washington to release evidence for the claim. As we have previously announced, the Islamic Republic of Iran harbors neither the intention or the motive to interfere with the U.S. presidential election, the mission said. The statement was released at a time of significant tensions between Washington and Tehran as the U.S. hopes to halt or limit a threatened threatened retaliatory strike on Israel over the assassination of Hamas official Ismail Haniyeh. A Ukrainian official has said that the Ukrainian army's recent incursion into Russia's Kursk region is first of several stages in taking the fight to the capital, Moscow. We see only part of this operation. In the future, we will see several stages. Head of the military administration in the Ukrainian city of Sumy, Oleksiy Drozdenko, told The Guardian, adding that the Kursk operation was not like previous raids. Drozdenko said he had been closely involved in the Kursk operation's planning, but said he could not say too much about it because there was more to come. The official did not provide any further details about Ukraine's military plans. Furthermore, he noted that hundreds of Russian soldiers have been captured since the incursion into Kursk on Tuesday the 6th of August, while the Ukrainian army has suffered minimal losses. Sometimes there are more than 100 or 150 prisoners of war a day. Drozdenko said, while speaking about the offensive in Kursk, which became the largest scale attack on Russian territory since the start of the war in February 2022, he added that Russian troops do not want to fight Ukrainians. The cross-border attack on Kursk was a complete surprise to the Kremlin, which believed Ukraine would fight to defend its own territory, Drozdenko stressed. The military official praised the Ukrainian army's success in Kursk so far, stressing that hospitals in northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy reported low numbers of casualties and injuries during the operation. On the first day of the operation, there were only 15 casualties, he claimed. 60, 70% of them were very light, caused by bomb damage, shrapnel. Sumy is the Ukrainian city closest to the incursion and had been closely involved in the operation's planning. With the population of 250,000, Sumy city had not been involved in the hostilities since the early days of the war. However, the incursion into Kursk has brought the war back to Sumy and the border areas to the north with renewed air, missile and artillery strikes. When we speak about seven months of 2024, January to July, there were approximately 400 strikes to border areas. But last week we had 200 strikes in only one week, Drozdenko said. Two people were injured after a ballistic missile landed in a street on Saturday. Sumi has been protected by air defense with interceptions and launches heard and seen from the city center over the last week.